Good day people, sorry about the month delay between videos, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Mass Effects in 3ds Max. This is going to involve how to add gravity and how to simulate physics. So let's get right on to it. So I've quickly built a brick wall right here, and what I, want, what I basically want to do is have a ball just go through it. Let's get right on to it. So first step, you're going to right click on the top right here and enable the Mass Effects toolbar. Now Mass Effects is actually in 3ds Max, so you don't have to download it anywhere. It comes with it. So you'll get it like this, just drag it onto here, then just drag this tab right here so you don't lose any space, and there you have it. So now what we want to do, we're we want to select a wall, and then click, hold click, to see if we get this menu, select dynamic rigid body, then let go, and now you'll get these hitboxes. So now that we have hitboxes set up and whatnot, let's tilt it to simulate gravity so that it falls. There we go, and now let's press simulate, and there you have it. Wonderful. So, that's not very exciting, but there you have it, it was as easy as that. Now, let me show you something. Let me show you how to make something run through it and how to make the wall stay steady until it gets hit because right now if I simulate it even though it's straight it's gonna bounce around like this um, so I'll show you how to fix that so what you want to do is select everything oh, geez, okay. select everything that is gonna be affected by gravity so in this case our bricks let's set them all to dynamic of your body as we did earlier let's open up this mass effects tools little menu right here by clicking the earth with the little menu go over to the tab with a cube and a sphere and change change a preset to let's say concrete and now if you want the wall to stay steady until something hits it enable this so click on here click on here start in sleep mode and then just close it and now you'll notice that if I simulate it they're not gonna move so you'll see the timeline moving, but the bricks don't actually move. For the bricks to start flying about, we need to throw something into it. So let's just grab a sphere, create a sphere, lift it, and yeah, it's going to hit right there. No oh jeez. So what we want to do is animate it. So we're going to hit auto key, set a keyframe, go up maybe 15 frames, and move it like over here turn off auto key and now we have this animation okay so now if you simulate it nothing's gonna happen because this doesn't have a hitbox and isn't assigned to anything so once again you click on the object that you want physics to be assigned to click and hold and set as kinematic rigid body and now there's gonna be a hitbox that goes around it or hit sphere if you know what I mean. anyway sorry about that and now if we simulate it you'll see the bricks go flying about wonderful so if that's what you're looking for watch no further but if you want parts of the wall to stay up then keep watching so let me just hide this in the ball so hide selection and press e, there we go and now I'm gonna do a little something so that the bottom of the wall and the sides of it remain when it's hit so let me just select a few more bricks so it looks a bit more natural okay. like so. So right now what I'm doing, I'm basically creating a frame that's going to stay up. There we go. And now what I can do is go over here and set a static rigid body. So now these aren't going to move. And so basically these bricks can interact with these bricks but these don't move. So let's simulate that. Unhide all, the ball in the back, simulate it, there you have it. Oh, also, let's say you wanted to make a bigger ball, because you're not satisfied with this. Um, so we'll go into your modify tab, click on sphere, and increase the radius. But yet, if you simulate it, it's not going to change, like it's not going to be affected properly, because you have to delete the mass effect rigid body before you modify the sphere. So right click on mass effects, delete, click on the sphere, let me just back that up. Click on the sphere, kinematic, and now when you animate it, well actually when you simulate it, 
it should affect it properly. There you have it. So let me show you a couple clips of what else you can do with this kind of thing, and yeah, we'll be done. Sure, this is great and all, looks good, but uh, we're missing one thing. You can't actually render this because the bricks don't actually move. So to make it move and whatnot, what you want to do is click on the little earth in the menu, go down into, where is it, right here, into the little tools, and you want to do bake all. Now this is basically going to run through your animation and create keyframes for every single brick that moves. And you see the loading bar down here, just let it finish, there we go. So there you have it, there's a bunch of keyframes. And you can actually run through it right now and render this. And now I show you other things you can do with Mass Effects. So that's it, you know the basics of Mass Effects in 3DS Max. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. I will reply to all of them. Uh, yeah, all of them. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Until then.